Yo, kids, thanks for a thousand bits, man. Let's go, let's go indeed, let's do it. Alright, for the thousand bits, we're gonna probably get the red and rare. Ooh, prairie, we're gonna have a fat deck. Mmm, my favorite. Fat decks are my favorite. Kappa no pride. Interesting, so prayer is not gonna help me in the uh, elite fights, like, per se. It will with the cards that I'm getting offered, but for right now, like, I don't know if I wanna go for this early elite or just maybe go monster, 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 get many cards, and then go for sparkle late and have a relatively, like, low impact uh, run for act one, you know, because I can go for two elites and this sparkle, but I don't. I mean, here we get one, two, three, four, five monsters, which means it's 10 card selection, right? It's 10 card selection, which might give me what I need to fight this elite and to fight this sparkle. Merrick at evening, how you doing? You, so, 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 is, yeah, man, you overslept. The, the thing is, like, I've learned to embrace the, uh, the fat deck life. I've learned to embrace it. Oh! Shariko, welcome to the turnfall, man. I'm gonna get emotes, don't worry. I'm gonna get emotes. So we're gonna I have to see the problem is I, I took this little hiatus from streaming, right? So it makes it like um I, I should just apply for partnership again. I'm gonna apply for partnership is uh I know we we sit the, we're not partnered yet, but once we apply for partnership we're gonna have emotes, don't worry. I hear you man. So I'm thinking, yeah, maybe we go over the safe route and only do one elite sorry, oh, one sparkle. What's up, Glorify? How's the schedule? schedule. How is the schedule? It's good. It's 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 not perfect, um, it's not perfect, but, um, I, I managed and I'm taking care of some stuff so that I can be consistent going into New Year. What's up, man? How you doing, Cool Kids Clan? I'm doing good, man. How's the schedule? Welcome back, Logify. Eight months Roman. Appreciate that. Let's go for five monsters, guys. Ah, well, the thing is, five monsters is not necessarily what I want either. I kind of want some events in the middle of that, too, right? So here, let's give you four events. Over here, we get... Here we can get four monsters, one event, and then maybe an event in the elite. All right, let's go for the let's go for the elite. Let's hope that we don't get our ass kicked. I'm hoping that the fact that I can get more cards from Prairie will make us doable. Kids, what have you been up to, man? How's life? <clears throat> hey, Dina Claus, welcome, man. I'll get to the stream. You, you got you caught a lucky day. Ooh, so spell weakness. Oh my god, prayer wheel is just giving me all the juiciness. Ooh, okay. Tough choices, but I think spell weakness. I mean, I think on average, we're always taking that. Those two cards. Oh my god, we have a very good deck right off the bat. Battle Trance, Flame Bearer, Spot Weakness. Got a new keyboard, is still honeymooning? You still honeymooning over the, the new keyboard? Is that, what saying? is that what you're saying? Nah, Shavika, I, I have it, I have it. So, for tw Ascension 20, you're talking about Ascension 20 streaks with uh, Heart Act 4? Alright, it's an interesting choice. So, I, I like Headbutt. So, True Grit would make sense to get more block and also thin out the deck so that we can do Battle Trance things and do more Spot Weakness. But I like Headbutt. And I think here it's either Whirlwind for the AoE, which makes sense for Spot Weakness to dump the Strength or Body Slam, Flame Barrier. And we can upgrade the Body Slam and get like a decent attack with Flame Barrier and stuff like that. But I think Whirlwind for the AoE makes the most sense. You just got yesterday? Dude, the Prayer Wheel is like. It's. It's happening. Oh, so the guy you watched for world record, essentially 20 streaks. So who who's who's claiming these essentially 20 streaks? Who where's the where's this world record document? You're saying that the world record for essentially 20 streak is 4-0? So it's essentially 20 completion. So we can go for that. We can go for 4-0. I'm a little rusty. It's been a while since I've played 
And you slay the spire land. When you miss a couple days, you feel like you've missed a lifetime. But we, we can go for a streak. I want to I want to go for a streak. I want to play well today. We'll see what happens. But it's important that I don't do any science. So if I do science, it, it, it invalidates the whole thing. You're working overseas. Get to come home like twice a month. Nice. Kids. Is that like a military thing or is that something else? Do I know any good joke? Ah, at the top of my head, no. Evolve pummel or headbutt. I like pummel. Dumps his strength. I don't mind it. I can also just skip these cards. I think evolve's not bad, but I don't oh, mind the pummel here. Yo, Novak with the tier one. Welcome to the German man. Appreciate that. Thank you so much. Welcome, welcome. Sean, so how you doing, buddy? Ah, okay, okay, okay. He said the world record for Ascension 20. He's not talking Act 4. So Ascension 20 streak is 4-0. Okay, so for that... Oh, shit! Mason the Mason, welcome to the Jerful. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. Guys, the subs are rolling in today. Appreciate that, guys. Um, private security contract, basically just a slightly higher paid babysitter. <laughs> I like that. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, is that kind of... Kids McGee, have you seen the show Bodyguard? Where the guy's a bodyguard and he's like, uh, he stops an act of terrorism. Is that kind of like that? Nah, Shadiko, if I've done it, if I've done that, then it's, if I had science, if, if I had like save and quit, it, is, it invalidates it. So, it's I, I don't have 4 0. I don't. So, Jorb should be the one that has that. And if I were to. 4 0 is kind of hard to do. I can try it, but it's important that I don't science, because if you science, then it kind of invalidates it, right? Well, anyways, this, uh, I'm thinking about Corruption Headboard's pass here. We could take Corruption so that on the second half of the deck, we can just, like, go through our skills and play. I mean, I, I've been a fan of Corruption. I think we totally have what it takes to kill this Elite, too, so it's kind of funny how this works out. Hmm. So this is a whirlwind waiting room. Okay, it was a world in the waiting room. It still is. But this is the problem. Is that guy in the back is gonna? This guy right here. He's gonna stay alive. So to avoid that, I just do this. I don't want to take any damage. This one isn't for high ranking government. It was just a rich family. And the movie is it's a good way to get killed. No personal relationship. <laughs> oh man, that show was so good. Um, Bodyguard was so good, man. So basically, you're, you're, you're like that, but you're for like a rich family. I get it. Got it. Understood. What's up, Zach, man? How you doing? Jack, Jack or, nice to see you too, man. That show was so intense. Double spot weakness, uppercut. I like uppercut because of the weaken. Uh, uppercut. The weaken I, I value pretty highly when it goes to the guardian. Also, I haven't upgraded the bash yet. So I could upgrade the uppercut, maybe start to look into remove bash. Uppercut's just a good damage card as well, going for an elites. Double spell weakness. Now, armaments makes sense as well. If we upgrade armaments, we have the battle trance, so we can do battle trance into armaments upgrade, which gives us, you know, a lot more upgrades, which is pretty useful. So I would say armaments plus battle trance is an interesting consideration, but I also like uppercut for the weaken, and I just like... It is kind of, uh, it's two costs. We already have bash, we have corruption, we have flame barrier. It might... Conflict with Flame Barrier and Bash, right? I can imagine I might have a hand with like Bash or, or Flame Barrier Uppercut, and I'm like, ah, what do I choose? Armaments is common, so we can always find it. I think I'll take Uppercut here. Oh, pff, I didn't look at the other card options to see if we had another Armaments. So here is another Armaments, or we can get another Flame Barrier. I mean, again, I think this Armaments plus the Battleships is nice, but I like Flame Barrier, and I think we can always find this. It's a common card. It's not. I think we do flame barrier here. Ah, damn. We have a lot of expensive stuff. Luckily, corruption will make all that cheaper, right? Let's upgrade uppercuts. It's a very good upgrade. You have cooler weapons. Oh, the show I was talking about is Bodyguard. If you haven't seen it on Netflix, check it out. Bodyguard. It's the first episode will drag you in, and then, man, great show. How about try nuclear throw and a similar to Gunship Movie Mutants? Nah, I haven't. I'll write that down, though. I'm going to say Pummel for when I have some strength, but this fight is a little bit rough. I'm going to take damage. Luckily, we're full life, but... Mm. I'm lucky I didn't get spot in the first turn. I mean, 
I shouldn't be complaining. I got kind of fortunate there. In fact, I think we just... We just win next turn. I could just block, because he's about... To, nah, we'll do this. So we didn't lose that much life. It's whatever. Centennial Puzzle is fantastic. I like Iron Wave here. Dumpster Strength gives me some block. I want to open the door for my doggy. You're amazing. Thank you, man. You're the man, man. You're amazing, man. Uh, let's just do Corruption now. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, thank you. And look at this. We have energy for everything. We can do corruption shenanigans. Right? We can block and fool. We can just win the game. Singing Bowl would be nice. Singing Bowl would be very nice. Sword Boomerang is not bad to dump our strength, but I want to keep the ratio of blocking the... I want to keep the ratio and blocking offense a little bit better, and we already have, like, Whirlwind to dump our strength. Maybe one Sword Boomerang is fine, but we're getting to a situation where, like, Strawberry is not bad. We're going to go for the Sparkle now. I think this deck is going quite well, so what I can say is that we could do corruption now, or I could just do. Well, I can say that the prayer wheel has been fantastic. It's like Percy Panda, how you doing, buddy? So we're getting whirlwind at some point, right? Oh, so especially since we're getting the Centennial Puzzle product here, we're gonna see whirlwind. So I could do this. <coughs> well. This is only giving me um, 16 damage. This might, be a, this might be an okay time to do energy pot. It's okay. Twin strike. Alright, so here I'm gonna start skipping. Like, yes, this stuff dumps our strength. And if we take anger with corruption, it's kind of a nice combo, but I don't really like it that much against the guardian. I don't even think anger is necessary at this point. Twin strike, uh, <coughs> a little redundant. <coughs> I'll skip that one. Iron Wave hit Hemo Clothesline. We already have the uppercut for the weekend. Iron Wave, another one. I mean, maybe another Iron Wave's not bad, but... Mm, I'll skip here. <coughs> you been smoking hot fiance? Wait, what are you guys talking about? <laughs> what did I miss here? Hey, Merry Christmas, Jack No, I just moved downstairs. I just moved downstairs. Leafo, how you doing, buddy? My doggy's crying. Okay, yeah, apparently my doggy wants to, uh... I guess my doggy wants to go outside. Kind of, um... Kind of awkward timing. I guess it's better to get it out of the way now, guys. Just stay put. Do not go anywhere. Keep your... Emily is very good for AoE. I'm thinking about it. I like the armaments once and for all. I could do Trugit to start getting rid of the strikes and make the deck do more spot weakness things and start attacking and getting Storm Boomerang and all that stuff more often, but I think armaments might be the play. I'll be right back, guys. I might as well get out of the way now. Or maybe he wants something. Give me oh, one second. I tried taking him out. Ooh, thank you. Welcome. Oh, Silom. You're the man. I didn't even know you were here, Silom. Thank you for the gift to sub, dude. Welcome back. Lethal and thank you so much for the gift to sub. Five minutes, guys. I'll be right back. <laughs> I made an effort. What's, uh, what's up, hiding Scotty? Arctic Curious Luke, how you doing? I made an effort to uh, walk him before, right? But my dog has been having issues. My uh, Isaac has been having some issues with his. Like he's been having diarrhea. Like last last night he had like diarrhea like nine times or like nine, yeah like eight, eight seven or eight times. <laughs> YouTube unsubscribed you. That's so weird. Why did that? Why did YouTube do that? I gotta talk to YouTube. What's up, Scout? And how you doing, uh, Mind, Mind Whipper? 
Alright, right, so we have some fruits here, guys. I'm gonna eat some fruits. Let's hope it's not a YouTuber. Okay, let's hope it's a YouTuber, but there's gonna be me eating fruits in the YouTuber. Got, we gotta talk to YouTube about that. So YouTube apparently... YouTube apparently is trying to remove spam accounts. So are you a spam account, Scotty? Is that what it is? I don't know. Hmm. So I was thinking about this. I think we finally bite down on the Armin's battle chance, but I do like having True Great going forward into like Act Two, Act Three, and I like the idea of like you know True Greating my defense, uh, my strikes, so I have more consistent defense, but also can do my spot weakness more reliably. We have headbutt though, so I'm gonna do the Armin's, and then we're gonna probably skip this one. Burning Pact is interesting, uh, so. The ability to card draw, more card draw basically, and also thinning out the deck. And it kind of works well with like headbutt, I suppose. And with corruption, it's not bad. So I could take it. I don't usually take burning packs, I really don't, but. Curious here. We're gonna use region butt just to get out of the way. This is a long fight, so we can get value out of region butt here. And I'm not gonna block. Blocks for the weak. And we ain't weak, you know what I'm saying? Don't forget to click that bell. Did I see my daughter? Did I see my daughter? Me? My dog. My dog. Don't have a daughter. But the dog is closer to a son than a, than a daughter. If we're, if we're gonna go that route. Ooh. Interesting. I could do this for 20. I, I could always come back for that. And yeah, my dog, I mean, I have to get up every morning and take care of my dog, right? So. Both my dogs. It's, it's, it's like I'm taking care of little children. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Who wants bash in their life? Not me. You haven't been getting video updates either? My god, YouTube, come on. Not like this. Ooh. There's this and then there's this. So we could argue. I'm drawing into like Headbutt and Whirlwind. Like I'm gonna get lethal, so I'm gonna go protect my life here. And this is because I believe I'm gonna kill them rather soon. Although, there is a case to be made with the fact that they're healing. Never mind. I mean, that's what I anticipated. Once I get Whirlwind, it's gonna be GG, so. Alright, so disarm. Wow, we're getting. Is there a world in which we want Berserk here? Let me, let me double check. Berserk would be nice. Alright, if I can mitigate the, you know, the downside of Berserk. Which, uh, I think with Corruption allowing us to play more block or the fact that Berserk can allow us to play Double Flame Barrier or stuff like that. We could probably be okay taking Berserk, but to me Disarm is just too good to not take. And that's, uh, that's just the, ta that's the facts. How you doing? Kazuchiya Pet. Kazuchiya Pet. Okay, so here I'm gonna do corruption. I'm gonna get rid of this. <laughs> what am I doing? Th okay, there goes my block, but that's 12 reflects. Just keep that in mind. Yow, yow. Okay, for now we get Warwind for 9, which is decent though, because this guy. Wait. So if I do Uppercut and then Whirlwind, this is doing 5, 5 plus 9 is 14, and then I do this, and then that, and then... Hasn't been easier, the easiest it's ever been, yeah, yeah, yeah. And tell me I didn't just demolish that fight, and Corruption was the best thing you've ever seen. I know, it's okay. It's okay, even if you want to admit it. 
Veeper I like a lot. More headbutts. Havoc. Havoc works well with I like I like Havoc a lot when it in conjunction with headbutt. More headbutts are always nice. Headbutt number two makes sense when we have burning packs and we have battle trains. Havoc's not bad. Um Reaper's very nice. Moving forward, we have some strength gain with spot weakness. Moving into Act 2, Act 3, Act 4, Reaper is just the best thing you want for your strength build. I value Reaper so highly, it's insane. Now it's between Havoc, Headbutt, or Skip. Now we can do Twin Strike to dump our strength, but I don't really want, I'd rather have more utility, because I'm not really worried about that strength dumping right now, because we already have like Whirlwind and Pummel and Sword and Ring. Um, I think it's between Havoc and Headbutt. Havoc can start thinning out the deck a little bit. It can also help with energy a little bit. Um, yeah, we've got... One thing I realized about, hey, ahoy, uh, kites. 26, 40, 18, 19, yeah. One thing about Slay Spire is that, um, while, while my dogs are going, having a blast. One thing about Slay Spire is that it, um, no, you're fine, kids, you're not old, man. I've, yeah, we're doing streaks, what's up, Debra? Is that it attracts an older audience. It's more of an older person game. Not, not that any of you guys are old. Like, I'm not calling you guys old. I'm just saying it's more of a mature audience. We, we sip tea and play this bar and talk about world issues. We got Headbutt or Havoc. Mm. Mm, Alright, so here's the thing. Card draw means I get bigger armaments. First thing I want to do is get rid of Bash as, as soon as I can. I'm calling you young. What's up, Voodoo? Happy Flower is so good. I have some of the best common relics, guys. We got... Is not, it's a nice rare relic. Then we got Centennial Puzzle, we got Happy Flower. These are some of the best relics you could not ask for. Do I go for it? Eh. One win against a streak is my book. I'll take I'll take whatever I can get. One win is a streak for me. I don't know about you guys. Did I just forget to do armaments battle trance? No one saw that. Surely nobody saw that. But what they're gonna see is me getting rid of this damn bash. All right, now we're good. So we can choose what we have it here with headbutt, which is top tier. And I can get rid of flame barrier. Well, not technically. I. All right, we'll just do flame barrier here. This is not a good turn for havoc headbutt, but the fact that they're upgraded very nice. That's twenty-four damage just because of flame barrier, and then we don't get spell weakness. It's wonderful. You reaper out of the way now just to get it out of the cycle. And then, I mean, this deck is just so good. I'm blessed with this deck. This deck is amazing. I cannot lose this fight. I would have to uh, fall asleep at the keyboard right now to lose this. Not a big deal. We can we can start doing corruption now. Just we can we can go for like the now we're going towards the, the back end of the fight. Look at that! Oh my god! Oh, I feel bad for this man. All right, guys, that is going to be forty-eight damage right there. Yeah, ba ba ba. Whew. And then we just start. Wailing on him. Bomb. Bomb. Deck's too good right now. Got a limit break on top of it. My god. I already have Reaper in the deck. I am blessed. I come back. We're gonna get... Let's hope this is a win, right? And then what we're gonna... 
Oh, now switch neighbors to play because we we uh, have armaments, which is you know. Good thing I picked armaments because now future hammer is not as impactful. I like it. You guys alright over there? My god, my dogs love to play. So the deck, the only strength they gave have is the only strength they have in this deck is spot weakness. So it, you know it is a little bit uh, risky or inconsistent to do um, spot weakness and limit break because you have to do spot weakness before you can hit that. Before limit break is not a curse, but. We do have like burning packs and we have battle traits. So our card draw is decent enough. We had headbutt as well to manipulate. Hope you guys can hear me over the dogs, but we have headbutt as well to manipulate when we get this stuff. Hey, right, hey boys, hey boys. Oh, you boys just spill the water. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Slow down, slow down. Come on. Spill the water. That's my fault. I shouldn't have water down there. One second. Let me drink this water. Now that they spilled it, it reminded me that I want water. It wasn't that much, it wasn't that much. So armor is upgraded. I upgraded armor is ASAP was my first upgrade when I got it, right before the boss. So that's how we got all the upgrades into the fight. Uh, I always upgrade armor, especially when I battle trance. Like we have battle trance and armor upgrade, that's a perfect combo. Um Also, why are they um why are the dogs so rowdy? I don't know. Like they um they have energy. They're boss and terriers, you know, terriers in general have energy. It's okay. Alright, so one thing I'm noticing here is that we have a force to lead. So if we're trying to be safe, well, we're not really going to have the option to. So I think if we want to maximize, if we're going to force to lead anyways, just maximize and go to the shop early. And then once we get to this elite, I feel like we're pretty good. Our deck's pretty good. We can go for another elite. If we're feeling scared, we can avoid elites. But I'm going to go for... Oh, there's also this path where we have shop. A lot of fights, so we can get more prayer wheel, and then we have elite, and then another fight, and then we have another, another. Uh, let's go. Left fast is the best, actually. Ooh, so I like Reaper here, but we're taking da we're taking damage here. Now the question is, do we want to do, do we want to do disarm or do we want to just like Reaper and try to kill these guys ASAP? I mean, if you look at it this way, we have Reaper for another fight after this, so we take some damage here. It's not the end of the world. If we play Corruption now, I feel okay about this. At the same time, I kind of like doing uppercut on this guy and then headbutting this guy. But I think with Corruption, we take less damage, and we should be able to kill. Be able to kill that guy. I mean, I could have done uppercut, but I think we just win this way easily. And then that amount of life that we lost, we can always get that back with the um, they're giving me so many headbutts. I, I'm a huge fan of headbutt. We'll take the headbutt plus oh, that's over trigger though. That's, that's one of the issues. So maybe I should have taken the regular headbutt, take the trigger it. We got funeral pain, which is very good. I mean, the bone is very nice. Preserve Insect is very good as well. So Preserve Insect means we're taking two elites on this path already. And then there's a fourth elite that we're get forced to fight in Act 4. And then there's elites in Act 3. So Preserve Insect, just seem to me, seems really good. But uh, if you know Pain is definitely the play. And now it's between True Grit and Preserved. I think we're taking Preserved for sure. Alright, nice. Woohoo! You said no more bits uh, for two months. Justice, come on. About the loopholes. Thank you, man. You're right, I didn't say that. But, uh... Your time out, because you can't be doing that. No, thank you. I appreciate that, man. Do we just do corruption now? Might as well, right? Okay. So here's what we can do. We can do headbutt. So get the spot weakness, right? Havoc that bad boy. Get blocked because of it. Pummel this boy, draw for everything, and then we do some flame barrier, and then we just win in the next couple rounds. We should at least. We're getting block, right? So we're now we're only taking one damage, which gives us a card draw. Hopefully we can draw back into Reaper and heal back up. That's the game plan at least. In fact, I could bring back Reaper and then win. Can we maximize this? We can, right? So if I do this, I'm healing for 7. If I do this, I'm healing for 8. No, wait. I'm healing for uh, 11. No, I'm only healing for 10. Which is the most amount I can heal for right now. And then boom. 
And we're full life, and we're destroying this run. Everything looks great. Dark Embrace, yes, please. Oh my god, they're giving me everything that I want in a deck. Corruption, Dark Embrace, Strength Gain, Limit Break. We're seeing a pattern here. Another problem was not bad. I mean, we already have the Funeral Pain, right? So, the Trifecta, you see here, we have the tri uh, Corruption, Dark Embrace, Funeral Pain, Trifecta. We got the ability to manu manipulate things with Headbutt, number two, and Havoc, as well as Battle Trance and Burning Packs. All of that operates extremely well with Dark Embrace and Funeral Pain together. Corruption on the second half of things if I want to, or early for hallway fights. And then we got Reaper to heal back up because of the strength. We have Strength Game, which is about weakness and limit break. The ability to find our strength game because of all this manipulation of whether it be card draw, whether it be Centennial Puzzle, which is card draw, or headbutts. Uh, and if, let's say, we miss a spot weakness, we can always headbutt, Havoc, etc. Or we can do headbutt and then Dark Embrace to card draw. I mean, the synergy is overflowing. I'm too powerful. Over 9,000. Now, Pummel, number two. I'd rather just draw into the cards right here. So, Orange is like my little, um, let's take a budget. It's a budget, um, apotheosis. It's all because of... All because of kids. Kids throwing a thousand bits and look what we get. Oh my god, it's too, it's, the deck's insane. Warcry to go even further beyond. With Headbutt, Havoc, Dark Embrace, Corruption, Funeral Pain. And then we have Shrug It Off. Another Warcry's not bad, but Shrug It Off. <clears throat> okay. Let's see here. Do Reaper now? I definitely don't want to do Reaper now. I can see myself getting rid of the, um... The Bash here. I could see myself getting rid of the Bash here, but... So we're gonna take some damage here, which actually may not, not be the worst thing. Yes, we're gonna get the debuff as well, which is kind of unfortunate. I could get rid of the Bash and maybe look for something to kill this guy, but... Alright, should we get the debuff? Um, but we get card draw as a, as a result, and do I want a corruption now? I feel like we can corruption now, but more importantly is that maybe I want to get armaments first. Because if I can get armaments on Funeral Pain and Corruption, that'd be great. I mean, all these things are great. The Corruption and the Limit Break, and the Funeral Pain especially is great. But maybe what I'll do here is just do the Funeral Pain, and then I'll do this, and then we'll bring back Uppercut for the weekend on that guy on the next turn. And hopefully we don't take too much damage here. So we can do Dark Embrace now, and we can kill that guy, take some 5 damage. I think Dark Embrace now would be worth it. Yes, we can do Disarm, but Dark Embrace is going to allow us to get back into Disarm willy-nilly. Now here, we don't get the weaken on the, the main boss, which we should probably think about because he's getting close to dying. So here, what we're going to do is Havoc. And we're going to hope that we start getting... I could do Speed Pot, because how much is he doing? He's doing... 
54. So I could do speed pot. There's probably a decent time to do speed pot here. And I can kill that guy. Not even. I, actually, we, we, we can kill this guy. Just so I... Just so I don't take any... I'll take a little bit of damage, but then... Maybe should have prioritized killing this guy a little bit more. Or hitting this guy a little bit more. But no matter, we, we'll be fine. Uh, we have Reaper, to, so we still have Reaper in the deck. To heal up. Now I can bring back Spot Weakness. And then just kill this guy right now, but... Yeah, maybe I'll just do that. No, I mean, I was going to bring back Spot Weakness with Headbutt and then shrug it off and then do... Uh, limit Break, but... This is also just fine. Should we wait for Reaper? We could at least try to draw it. Yep, yeah, it's all good. I mean, I, I I think there's no harm in trying to draw it, right? So we do Battle Trends next turn. So there's no way we're dying next turn because this guy's going to die before he can kill us. But this gives us a chance to find Reaper. And we found it. And then we just win. And uh, we we're full life. That was a nice, easy elite. War paint's not bad. In flames, very good. It's another way to get limit break going. So our weakness upgrade is very nice. Oh, I can't upgrade us, of course. So we want to take damage. We're actually too full in life. Can we start hitting me in the face? This would have been insane. Dual wield. Eh. Dual wield, feel pain would be the best thing. Like dual wield, feel pain, or like. Maybe like dual wield on Reaper. So think about this. I know it's kind of a curse, but dual wield on the Reaper for like Act 4, Act 3 is insane. Or dual wield on the Final Pain is insane. Dual wield on potentially maybe we're feeling frisky like on Inflame, but that, that seems not necessary. Maybe Dark Embrace. Again, the, the best targets would be probably Final Pain, Reaper, and maybe Sword Boomerang, but Final Pain, Reaper would be the best targets for dual wield. Aside from that, those are two cards out of my 33 card deck. We do have some way to manipulate with Headbutt and stuff like that, but I think it's going to be cursed more often than not. Do I like the idea of having more Reapers in the deck as like insurance against Act 4 and Act 3? Yeah, it's not bad, because if you have Strength Gain, what you want with Strength Gain is to have just massive Reaper heals, but... Nah, it's whatever. Farsha, how you doing, buddy? Yeah, now we just have one more key to get with the Sapphire, and we, we're going to be forced to rest, which is kind of, eh. There's some potions here we can think about, like, we can try to save Thorn Pot for the Heart, but that's kind of premature. And there's Strength Pots, which can help us get going for this next Elite, or for this boss, which I don't think we need. I mean, we're, we're just, like, we're over... We're overwhelmed with so many, so many good things happening for us right now. Think Tech Daddy, yeah, when we have Prayer Wheels, I Think Tech Daddy all the way. What happened? What did Malarbo say? Oh yeah, it, it is Ironclad only. It is. I'm pretty sure it's Ironclad only. I could be wrong. Not, I'm pretty sure it's Ironclad only. Uh, if we remove, we maybe remove a strike. Yeah, I can see someone moving a strike here. Is there another shop that I can save up for? I'll remove a strike. Alright. Sapphire Key. Stonefather is not bad. I can see myself liking this. It's... I can see myself liking this. Although, okay, how useful is this really going to be? For boss fights, this is pretty good. Uh, in Collector especially, it could kill the, the minions and, and help me out a lot. So. Um, Act 4 Elites. I can see this being pretty good. Now, here's the thing. I make a lot of block. I mean, I make, I make a lot of damage, right? My deck's kind of fast, but this could help me on the turns... Or certain fights where I might like it could help me with Raptor Mancer maybe. If like I say, I'm, seven turns is a long time though, guys. Seven turns is a long time. I mean, the best things I can think of it is like Raptor Mancer. Maybe like in the boss Thorn Deca, if I'm, if I feel like I need that little bit extra damage, it could be helpful against the collector right now with the ads. But the thing is, seven turns is a long time. So it's most useful in boss fights and elite fights, and I think. I'm managing Reptomancer before this even procs. I think I'm managing correct Collector before this even procs. Maybe Collector might get some value with this. Um, 
It can be clutch. It's also doing 40 damage to the heart when I'm not doing a damn thing. For 40 damage against the heart could be relevant where, you know, I'm focused on staying alive and then, oh, 40 damage from the heart. Perfect. I'm not sure. Now, here's the thing. If I take Sapphire now, it means I don't have to give up another Relic later on. Okay, so, basically, so do I think Stone Condor is going to be decent enough to... To have to give up something else later on. Alright, I'm forced to rest with no Dreamcatcher or nothing. Just me and a campfire. Ooh, now this is very good. This upgrades everything. Oh, shit! Which works with Fusion Hammer. And yes, it's a little bit done with armaments. So you've got to ask yourselves, is this going to be too done with armaments to consider? Or do we like it anyways? A stove is a stove. You're not wrong. You know what else is right? I'm not right, but uh... A sub is a sub. I, I don't know. I, I totally... I was... I ruined it. I had a moment that I lost it. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Welcome to the triple. How you doing? Yeah, so I, I was saying that we get this, uh... The special thing. Which upgrades a card every turn. And then we also have armaments in the deck. But the deck's fat enough that maybe we can get value out of this. It becomes a little redundant. But maybe it's still good enough. It's also adding a curse to my deck, which I don't have the ability to remove right now. So maybe it's just, I'd rather just upgrade a card. Like maybe I'll upgrade Dark Embrace, because I think Dark Embrace is the, the key component to get everything going. Yeah, the Tongs is not bad, especially with Fusion Hammer, but again, we already have Armaments Plus and Battle Trance. I mean, yeah, we have the, the healing. The Pain can also do this Centennial Puzzle, right? The pain can also give us Centennial Puzzle, so there is some consideration with that. Like, if I want to get more card draw, Centennial Puzzle Pain. And that's not, that's not, that's not a small thing to consider. That's actually kind of important, because in Act 4, you know, making sure you have good hands against the Act 4 Elite, uh, turn 2 or turn 1, is very important. Tonks should also upgrade the Dark Embrace. I know, I know it can, but it's also giving me a curse. Alright, we'll take it. <laughs> He's so tiny, you little cute boy. So here, I maybe want to do Gambler's Brew. Because I don't want to take all that damage to the face. So we get the Flame Bear, but then I don't get the Dark Embrace. And that's the feels bad, man. But, but we also get the Inflame, which is nice, right? Because now with the Limit Breaks, to make this fight last. So the most important thing right now is... That I get armaments for the disarm, or maybe we just like we could just do headbutt into flame barrier disarm. There's a lot of things we could do, but I think it maybe headbutt into the flame barrier, and then we just do disarm. And then we draw into flame barrier defense. Although at this point I have so much strength that damage is I guess attack is probably better. Ooh, now we're just taking over. We got the weaken. Alright, now uh, we'll just get a Reaper to finish us off. I think we'll get a Reaper. But now we just win. Alright, so, so who knows? We don't really care about Reaper that much because we have the, uh... We have, uh, we're forced to rest. And we just, not only demolish that, we got this so we don't get Frail, which is fantastic. But we also get another Disarm, which is fantastic as well. So this deck is getting everything... What I'm looking at right now is this deck is getting everything it needs for Acts 4. It has everything it needs for Act 4. It's got the scaling, it's got the card draw, it's got the ability to block. The pain is something I want to remove, of course. But once we remove the pain, the deck's rolling. <laughs> crazy, crazy. The, the only the only problem there is that, in order for them to remind me, they have to spill the water, and that's not a very good reminder. I 
I wish I can do more of these these uh these campfires. You know, another thing I would like to get is like a feed maybe. But that's obviously who wouldn't want to feed. Oh <laughs> we got a feed, but now I'm I said I wanted it, but like okay. On floor thirty, is it too late? Anthony Stigley lurking. He's giving me feeds. Now, we can do Iron Wave Plus again. That's another way to dump my strength, but also get block. It's, you know, it's pretty decent. Dumps her strength and also gives us 7 block. I don't mind. Another Iron Wave. Do I just skip, though? I mean, the deck is so big as it is. And I feel like if I take an Iron Wave, we're getting into Funeral Pain, Dark Embrace, Inflame Limp. We're getting into all these cards less often. And I don't know if I want that. At the same time, we do get another way to do damage and block. Uh, let's just skip here. So we have disarms for this guy. Ooh, we got the inflame. So since we are gonna heal anyways, like I could do flame bear, but I'd rather just weaken him, which is gonna give us effective uh, block anyways. And also I can do um, this pain is something else. I'm, I'm forced to uh, rest anyway, so it's fine. But here I want to. Um, I want to get feed. It's very important that I get feed here. Can we get. Can we force a feed kill? So if I do headbutt. I do head, but I can I can do feed right now, but it's not enough. What? How much strength do I have? Okay, so I have 12. So feed right now is doing like 22, right? Well, I'm weakened, so it's doing like. Like around 19, I believe. What are you eating, buddy? It was alright, Farshay. I didn't do that much. And so. What I'm going to do is just headbutt now. And I'm not going to do feed just yet. I could have done like Havoc to get more block. I can even do Pummel to get more block. But I'm sacrificing all the potential block I could have got in there just to make sure I get feed right now. And I'm hoping that it gets upgraded. Please let me get armaments. Please, 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 please. Damn. Okay. Sentinel is not bad. Oh my god. We're getting so much. No, we could have killed. We could have killed. So, if Pemmel Headbutt would have killed too much damage. So then Headbutt Havoc wouldn't have gotten the feed. I just want to make sure I get the feed. Are there any good mods to enhance? Yeah, there are, Grim. So, if you go to the mod pages, you'll see that there's, like, mods that add relics. There are mods that add certain cards. Oh, there, there are some mods that enhance without adding new characters. Almost Yo, to almost to one year. year like Let's go. Welcome back, dude. Thank you so much, man. No, I'm in flame again to make sure Limit Break gets this thing. I think more disarm is... Uh, are we getting too much disarm? I mean, I love disarm. It's too good. We're at... We're at two disarms. Now, one thing to think about the disarm is that... It, um... It exhausts, which gives you Dark Embrace and gives you Funeral Pain. But I think Trug is actually the play here. Because I want to thin out the deck a little bit. And Trug can be an ability to get a lot of block. And also card draw. So I think Trug is the play. Just to manage the pain. Just to try thinning out the deck a little bit. If I want to do some Limit Break Recursion stuff. And it also operates extremely well with Funeral Pain and Dark Embrace. So, and Sentinel is really good as well. As we talked about how Sentinel has good synergy with Dark Embrace, True Grit, and all that stuff. And Corruption as well. So I'll take it. But now the deck's getting massive. But when we had Dark Embrace Corruption, now Sentinel is just a great card. It could be too synergistic maybe. I don't want to bring Bash back, that's why I don't want, I want to headbutt first. I also kind of want to try getting rid of some of these strikes, because I want to find, like, Inflame. Or Spot Weakness here. Boom. There we go, baby. Oh, wow, this, this is the play, boys. We got Dark Embrace, we got Spot Weakness. Now, I could use this now, or I could do Dark Hmm. 
We don't care about using this prematurely. Alright, so it's important that I put... Limit break at the top, or inflame. Let's put Limit break at the top. <laughs> I forgot about Dark Embrace, that's hilarious. Whoopsies, that was a Nambo. Okay. So what I want to do is headbutt the Limit Break. Ah, but Limit Break's not upgraded, that's a problem. That is a problem. So I want to headbutt the Limit Break and then do Disarm and play it, but it's, it's not going to be upgraded. And now they're doing a lot of damage, so what we probably want to do is... I probably should have played Corruption. Nah, Corruption's a little early. I mean, we're not going to die here, but... Uh, we're not gonna die here, but energy is a problem, problem here because we have so many plays we could do So maybe corruption was better so I can play all these disarms play all the defense and then we could have just done limit break regardless because You know eight strength is still pretty good. We have reaper Maybe I do reaper here just to heal up I could get a much better reaper later on, but maybe that just buys time for right now until I get things rolling Because reaper right now is gonna heal me for 27 so Reaper should hit me for 27. Right now they're doing 35, right? So Reaper's... Now feeding, feed gives me block, and yes, it gives me... Um, I'm greedy enough that I actually want to try feeding the Collector, but if I do feed it, it gives me card draw, gives me block, and it kills the guy. It doesn't work on minions, but feed would just be a good way to take away 7 damage, give me block from Funeral Pain, and also give me card draw, but... Reaper right now is hitting for 27. I think... We could always Reaper after the fact, so what we can do is, uh, I guess we can get rid of Feed. Nah, that's fine. Let me see here. Corruption would have been nice, I guess. Another place I can do, like, Arm is Defend, but that's kind of silly. That's fine. I, I, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll stabilize, it's fine. I want to weaken him. So, I don't care what, if any of these things get Havoc, I don't think. I want to make sure he's weakened. My Battle Trance, I want Battle Trance because I don't want, I don't want to draw into a curse. Next turn. Corruption would have been nice, but we always have headbutt to bring that back. Case in point. I might just do corruption now, because I think we're at this point. Well. So let's say we do corruption now. We do corruption now. We're going to start winning the fight, I would say. Pretty handily. So this heals me for... It heals me for 15. It's not... I can get more out of that. Ah... Uh, I think we can do much more this turn, but... There's only the consideration that... I don't want to get a bad draw the next turn. I want to make sure I don't have a bad draw, so... We have enough skills in the deck that I think we're fine. But maybe I should just be doing Reaper. We can always headbutt it back, though. So, Whirlwind is not bad. But if we want more block... So, we can arm this now, but... I'll
I'll wait on the armaments. Pain's gonna be awkward here. So... I'm hoping I can get rid of Pain here. Frick. Thank you. I wanted to hit the armaments and I hit it. Heal back up. And now we just win. Bring back that. And I wish I still had feed, but you know, c'est la vie. I don't. And that's how we win. Barrick is another very nice power. Wow. Okay, I'll take it. Curse key. Sozu. I like the Sozu. Curse key, okay. Uh we're gonna have to use for a key anyways. Um I like potions. I feel like potions okay, we're going towards act three and act four, but I think potions can give me stuff like dexterity or card draw or just going for act four, I think potions are the best, so I don't have the best way to remove curses, but we can always remove it at the shop. And Trugit's not upgraded. We have to upgrade Trugit. Oh, we can't upgrade what I'm talking about. We just have to hope that we get lucky with armaments and stuff. And Preserve Instinct. So, Preserve Instinct means we can go for one, two, three elites. And, you know, I'm willing to take that risk. I think our deck's fine. Okay, my goal here is to get feed. That is my goal. Will I achieve it? If I can strike any feed with max, max, max HP is just an important part of destroying. I should probably prioritize the shot because I do want to... Alright, so my goal here is to find headbutt. Because I want to headbutt the feed right now. And this is what you do, baby. This is what you do. I want to headbutt the feed right now. I have a goal, and the goal is to headbutt feed. Not kill him. Oh, thank you. Don't hit battle trance. Thank you. Headbutt the feed. Baby, baby, baby boys. Let's go ahead and battle trance. Alright. And then feed for 36 plus 4 max HP. And once we get that rolling, mmm. Scene red is very good. So scene red is very good in this shell of corruption, final pain, dark embrace, right? It's kind of like Sentinel, but you know. The only thing is that. Mmm. Uh, the only thing is, like, it could be awkward, you know, it requires you to have the powers to get the most out of it, and then, okay, there's cases where we have battle trends, and then it's not bad. But, uh, it's kind of a win-more situation, it requires me to have my powers out already. That we are going for three elites, so dead branch is a possibility, to, but, I, I don't, the deck doesn't need dead branch. Dead branch would take it to the next level, but uh, it's performing well without it. Another headbutt's not bad, yeah, so headbutt works beautifully with um, Dark Embrace, Corruption, and all that stuff, right? So, as you guys saw, headbutt is very... The ability to recur and do things like Havoc or Dark Embrace to get into whatever you want is really nice. A third headbutt? It's consideration. What's the other option here? Palm Strike from a card draw? Maybe more card draw's not bad. But we already have card draw with spades. If you get Ball that'd be fantastic. Yo, Devilish, how you doing, buddy? And scene red is nice, though. I, I can imagine, like... But it does feel more win-more, right? Thank you, Devilish. 
Yeah, I think card draw is not bad here. Uh, more head, but if this be card draw, maybe is a little bit better. The only thing I'm thinking about seeing red is that when my powers are out, it's block, energy gain, and card draw. And I think that's a fantastic thing to consider. So, it's also another skill for corruption to keep the, the ball rolling, right? Which ends up being more card draw and ends up being more block. Whereas headbutt is just recursion to help me be more consistent. I guess help me set up some of these things. So I can see headbutt being okay here. Hmm. That's a tough choice for me. I, I want to protest the shop a little bit because I do want to get rid of the pain. So if I do the shop, then I can go for pain removal and then three elites. And one of the elites is going to be early. The other alternative is to go these two, this path where we get campfire, campfire. But campfires are not as good because they're only for resting. And we'll go for this event and see what we get. I'll, yeah, we'll go for this event and see what happens. But getting Dragon Brace opening hand is exactly what the deck wants because... Oh, now we just got to play Corruption and we just win. It's important that I get feed here, though. So there's the feed. We're taking damage, which okay, we have Reaper, so... This damage is inconsequential to me. It's inconsequential, my friends. Because I'm about to Reaper and feed your face. Ideally, hopefully. Alright, so what we're going to do here is... Um, we're going to headbutt to feed, because we want to make sure we get the armaments on the feed. Now, what's important here is we also get Sentinel upgraded, which gives us more energy. Which keeps the, the ball rolling, right? You guys thought I was done. No, I'm not done. When this gets rolling, it doesn't stop. That's just that's just the way it works. Now, I don't have enough energy to get the feed. What I would need to do... So, maybe I should pummel the guy in the middle. What I need to do here is... Hmm... Maybe just get rid of all my skills and try to get Reaper, try to get feet again. Unless this gets really lucky. Eek. Alright, now I have a chance to be really lucky. If I strike and hit the guy on the left. Damn. Alright, so we don't get feed this turn, but what we can do is set up feed for another turn, hopefully, by doing this. Burning packs. Alright, and then we have... Hopefully that card draw is enough to get the feed again. Bam! And I'm telling you boys, we're on the train for max HP. Warcry is very good in this deck. Okay. What the hell are you guys doing? Did I try petting them? <laughs> No, nah, so Scotty, you, you have to get feed on the last one, so... You can't feed... You can only get feed on the last the last one. So, the feed... Yeah, they're not dead until the last one's dead, so the feed only works on the last one. That's why it was very particular. Um, Thunderclap is not bad. It gets rid of the artifacts, right? So, Dorian Deck is probably going to be a thing. Thunderclap gets rid of artifacts with sets of Reaper to be successful, but it's also a card that's probably dead a lot of the other times. But the ability to remove artifacts like that... I'm thinking Act 4, Act 4 Elite. Get rid of the artifacts, which helps me set up Disarm. Also helps to set up Weaken on the other guy. Also, get rid of the artifacts onto the um, Act 4, the Heart. And we can get set up Disarm after the buff or whatever. So, I can see Thunderclap being okay here. But, it's also... Because uh, we don't have Shockwave, right? So, right now, the only way we get rid of artifacts is with Uppercut and Bash. Bash would probably never want to play that. So, Uppercut mainly. And... What's nice about Thunderclap is that it, it can hit both, so if we're talking like AoE Reaper fights, I think I get the Thunderclap's fine. It is kind of needlessly thick. I can see that it is a thick deck. So Potion Belt now or Sapphire Key? Okay, be Sapphire Key now. I like Potion Belt, so it, so it allows me to like buy out four potions into the Act 4 boss fight. But this might be a good time to just get the key now. Corruption's not bad. So the reason my deck's not bad being fat. It looks big, and it is big, but okay, the one problem with that is that it's inconsistent in the sense that I I have less chance to find the important powers, like Dragon Base Corruption. But once I find them, then it's nice that it's my deck's fat. Now, I wasn't going to go for the shot because I want to get rid of the curses that we just picked up, but um, we're okay finding this elite this early, right? That's fine. 
I was gonna go for this path. Yeah, we're, we're okay finding the elite this early. Put Limit Break on top. Now, this is kind of a bad turn. I'm gonna try to will myself to get feed, but this is that was a really bad turn. And that's the case in point of kind of like. If we get headbutt something, we can do like Limit Break, headbutt, Limit Break, right? Now get our strength going. But I want to make sure I have some block here. So what we're going to do is this. I'll bring that back just in case. I hope I can hit the bash. All right, we're taking some damage, but we have Reaper, so it's okay. We have a lot of life to spare. So I can choose what I put on top. So I, for instance, I can put Flame Bear on top and Havoc it. And then we can just like block it up. And one thing I want to... We have two curses now. We have Clumsy and we have the... Actually, oh, we can just win here. If we do armaments... Oh, no, we don't just win here. Well, we could, technically. So, armaments into Pummel is... Make this... This is 40... 40 plus... Plus 64. That's not enough. What I will do is, um, I want to maybe bring back feed. Ah, oh, I should have brought back Reaper. Ah, uh, I should have brought back Reaper. But now, now the fact that I'm fighting the elite like this is really bad. Dark Embrace gives me one more card draw, but, ah. Uh... That gives me one more game. Okay, I think it's worth it. Alright, I got the feed, but now we're fighting an elite with not that much life. Uh, I might just be dead now because because of all that damage I took. And that's probably the problem with making my deck so fat. Bronze Ghost is very good. Very, very good for the heart. Uh, it's probably just worth it to buy now. And I was going to remove, but... It's probably worth it just by now. Uh, skill pop maybe, just because I want to stay alive in this elite fight. Mm. Boys, you guys are just non-stop. Can you guys relax? I don't get it. When I'm not streaming, they're resting, they're relaxing, they're so calm. They're a beautiful little portrait of precious doggies. When I stream, they become monsters. Come on, little hornballs. He's fine. Like, he's not getting... He's fine. The little one is fine. The little one actually instigates it, but... Isaac, no more, bro. I say, let it, let it be. Come on. No more. Shh. Relax. Shh. 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 Yeah, they're fine. They're fine. Uh, I'm gonna buy this just, just in case. It sucks to save my gold. Like, lose my gold. I mean, maybe I'm, I'm overreacting because our deck's kind of good. Now, what would we be scared of Havoc in here? What are we scared of Havoc in here? Okay, we're just gonna go ahead and pass. Maybe doing this now. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is this, and then Havoc the Pain. There we go. Right, that's nice. Why not? Alright. Do I Reaper now, or do we wait for... No, we can't even do Reaper now. Okay. Mm. We should be fine. We should be fine. I just need to get my powers out and we're good. So that is the problem with the tic tac though right now. We're seeing the issue. So we can headbutt the havoc. Havoc again, so we can do Havoc again. I'd love to get Havoc again, so I could, uh... I would love to be able to play Corruption right now, or Limit Break. Maybe, maybe just play Limit Break? Or do we go for Block? Is it damage and Block? Limit Break is nice, because Limit Break is going to allow us... 
I need to play Corruption, it's very important. So what you need to do is do Headbutt, Battle Trance, into Corruption, and win the game next turn. So, um, so what I gotta do is just survive. So what I, I think what I'm gonna do is actually, next turn what I wanna do is Headbutt the Corruption, and then do Battle Trance if I can. And then from there we just win, and we'll get into our Reaper and all that stuff. So, what's up Barricade in the deck? So I'm actually totally fine with just blocking for now. With the idea that once I get my headbutt and corruption out, we should be fine. Now, of course, we didn't get the barricade, but if we draw into Centennial, uh, Sentinel or whatever, there it is. And now we can play barricade, and now we have block for days. Um, now we can just pass here. I, was, I can do battle chance, but I can just pass here. And now it's important that we get the Olympic going. They try to get Big Reaper and then a feed, and then we're, we're okay. We can wait for Spot Weakness first, but this is more than enough strength to do what we want to do. Now, there was a, there's a Reaper, so I want to get the Reaper, and I also want to get the feed. So let's make him weak. So Thunderclap is an easy way to get vulnerable. And then this gives me 51 heal. That's pretty decent, I would say. We can make the, we can make the heal even, even a little bit better. That didn't way too much damage. That kills him immediately on the spot. We want to find the feed, so since we want to find the feed, I mean, I could do. We're getting feed guaranteed next turn. So how about we do this, and then that. That's good enough because we're forced to rest. All right, and we're gonna get feed next turn. I could even get it now, but it's not upgraded. But we can get it now. Okay. So it was an upgrade. I would like to upgrade feed, but I can't. Now, Havoc, again, is not bad. We, we saw the power of Havoc. The skill pot maybe was unnecessary. So we waste gold for that, but whatever. Now, Havoc is very good in this deck. Um, the deck's getting a little fat. It's a little worrisome. Mm. How about I make the deck too fat? If, if the deck loses, it's because it's, it's, it's way too fat right now. Oh, sure. Frozen Shades. For sure, I can do something like that. You can pick up things from watching videos and streams, but uh, yeah, you want something that's a little bit more. I understand. I need to be upgraded, man. I want to zoom. Zoom would be great. This deck's great. Uh, obviously, the downside of this deck is the, it's. Uber fatness. It's very fat. Ah, I don't have to take damage, but ah, fuck it. Sentinel is not bad. Okay, Shock Whip is very good. Ah, uh, Sentinel, I don't mind it. But again, it's so fat. It's like, I should just stop. But once everything gets going, then obviously the Sentinel is nice. But okay, but this, I gotta stop. I gotta stop. Because I'm never, I'm never gonna get going if I keep adding cards. Like, I'm never gonna get the, uh, my power's out. If I'm keep adding cards. I just stop. Periwheel, stop offering me cards, please. Oh. Periwheel, just do whatever the hell you want. Yeah. Oh. Anthony. Anthony. Anthony's here. I mean, let me make a quick phone call. Let me meet the mic. Where's my phone? Fuck, I gotta think of Anthony. Anyways. <laughs> oh, this is disgusting. I didn't want this, but I'll take it. I didn't want this.
Boys, relax, my god. Yo! I promised myself I'd donate if I saw you get that dead branch. <laughs> Beautiful run, loving it. Thanks, man. Thank you for that $10 donation. Appreciate that a lot. I want to get feed, so I don't want to win. I mean, my goal is not to win, my goal is to get feed. You notice I have 1 in 3 HP? That HP is very important when we go into the, the boss. My goal is to get feed. Now, one thing is <laughs> we got entrenched. <laughs> one thing that's happening right now is, um... Okay, my goal is to win, but I want to get feed. How much damage is this? Too much, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Too much. It's too much damage. I want feed. Now, it's going to be hard to get feed with the dead branch in the mix. Dead branch might... So, my deck is operating well without dead branch, but I think dead branch adds a whole another level of uh, insanity to the deck, so it's okay. But it was operating pretty well without the dead branch, because now Dragon Branch is kind of redundant. Like Dragon Branch is a little redundant now, and it, it seems very hard to actually get the feed. Which is very important for me. But we also have Dead Branch Corruption, so I can't be complaining that much. Like don't don't catch me complaining right now with Dead Branch and Dead Corruption. Like please don't allow me to complain, but I mean I just, a man just wants his feed sometimes. I'm not complaining, but a man's gotta feed. Now, Exum. Okay. Now, now we're just gonna pass. Wait for feed. Problem is like. If I do Dragon Brace, it helps me draw into my deck where I want to find the cards, but then, you know, the Dead Branch stops that from being a thing. Alright, we're just gonna wait for Feed here. Uh, feed is still not upgraded, so I hope we get lucky. Dragon Brace is what helps get things going, yes? There's the Feed. Nice, 106. Skip. Skip. Some more Elites. All the elites. Oh, he's so tiny. He's so cute. Look at you. He's so cute. Alright, so Dark is a great thing to find early. Dark Embrace is a great thing to find right now. Yes. This is about to get crazy. Too crazy, actually. Maybe too crazy. Maybe a little too nutty. Oh, it's gonna be so hard to get through this deck. I'm gonna have too many cards. Too many things going on. Alright. So here's what we're gonna do, boys, alright? It looks like we have... It looks like, damn. There's a lot of things going on here. Yeah, I agree, but then we do Burning Pact. Alright? And then, whoa, okay, we could do Second Wind. Fuck it, I gave up. And then we just do Whirlwind, right? Okay. Now, we want to, um... Fun feed. Like always. There it is! Atta boy. Uh... Ooh. Sentinel. All right. I'm trying to get feed. Come on. Just don't kill it, all right? Just don't kill it, please. Nice, thank you. That's actually great. Okay, okay, that's great, that's great, that's great. Um, bash into feed is okay, perfect. We got it. Okay, 109 HP, very nice. And playing Solitaire. Uh, we like playing Solitaire, right? Fiendfire is very nice. Oh my god. Solitaire is what we're playing. Let's 
Impervious. I could just do Fiend Fire, you know what? You guys. It's a great hand we have in all. But okay, let's, let's be a little bit more reasonable. We could do Impervious Barricade and just be reasonable here. Fiend Fire is getting a little crazy. Let's just do Barricade. Let's just do that. Let's just relax. Oh, yeah, I know a deck's thick. Yeah, I know, guys. I know. It's a thick, 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 thick boy. I don't care if I take damage because we have Reaper and stuff like that. I mean, there's a corruption. You guys good? Come on, stop. Come on, guys. That's decent. Can we can we do better? Can we do better than this? Maybe we can even look for like it's taking so long to get the feed. There it is, but eighteen. Maybe we can find a zoom or something. We're on Dark Embrace out, right? I'm being a little greedy here because I could look for Exhum or I could do Reaper. It's a little greedy. Like maybe too greedy, right? Like maybe we don't care about being that greedy. But I mean I'm kind of a greedy person. I'm trying to maximize my, my ability to kick this thing's ass. So I'm greedy enough to look for Exhum. Alright. I, I, but I don't want to bore you guys to death. I surely want to bore you guys to death. And Exhum is, is going to be kind of hard to find, isn't it? We'll give it one more turn and that's it. Oh, you damn Stone Calendar. You, you, see, Stone Calendar's got your back. Stone Calendar's like, listen. The viewers don't want to see that. Smack them right out of here. Okay, fair enough. That's fine. That's fine. Alright. So we can get more skills. Stone Condor, I should have never picked you, by the way. You, I chose you over Sapphire Key, and that's how you... You know what, Stone Condor? You're going to get it next game. So we have um, Flame Barrier for more skills. Why not? More headbutts. I mean, okay, guys, we're at 47 cards. Why am I even... Prayer Wheel... You know what? At this point, you need to turn off. Like, I have 47 cards. Don't offer any cards. Take it. No card rewards. All right, but let's... In, in realize, okay, if we can get bottled corruption, then they don't, I don't take all these cards. But right now, taking cards is... I shouldn't take anything. I shouldn't take a, a damn thing. But here's hoping we get, like, some, some bottled something. Oh, hello. Alright. You know, you know, I could... If you weren't intangible, I could kill you right now. I just, I just want you to know that. And you're lucky... That I don't have my corruption. Keep in mind, I didn't actually... There it is. I didn't actually draw through my deck, though. That's kind of just like... I right, want to try to get the feed, but feed is not on the next sure is not the play. So, we're going to do Sentinel here. Don't diss it. <laughs> Alright, so we can choose what we headbutt here. Like, for instance... Uh, more block. Right? Or more weaken, right? More weaken is not bad. So how about we do weaken and then a hey, juggernaut's not bad here, right? Oh, 
Oh my goodness. I want to bring Barricade back. I want to bring it back. I also... I, maybe I can start consider Reaper, but okay, we're going to force to rest. I'm, I could actually kill this guy with Juggernaut, but what I want to do is just set it up for feed. That's the game plan. So does two berserks give us double the energy? Oh my. There's a purpose for doing this, guys. I am trying to find that set up for feed. This is this is not. Okay. Okay, that's not a block. We're happy with that, right? Um How am I gonna find feed? Oh, we're gonna do way too much damage. Oh, feed is not gonna happen. Wait, feed is not gonna happen. Okay, the best thing for me to do is just do nothing. Ah, shit. Ah, shit. Alright, alright, alright. Oh, Stone Condor, don't do it to me, Stone Condor. Please, brother. Oh, okay, I have this turn to find it. Alright. Alright, so feeds a little bit harder to find now, but it's okay. The boot. Wait. This is the second time the Nemesis drops the boot. This guy holds it in his pocket. He knows this is number one weakness, so he steals the boots and he keeps it in his pocket. This guy. You know what? I can't blame him. This is, that's a smart enemy. That's a smart enemy. You know what? Nemesis, I have a lot of respect for that. That's next level. Second time he's done that too. Ow. Not like that. Alright, feed. We have Exhum, alright? So we just gotta find you. We're gonna we're gonna do some Exhum feed. There it is. There it is. Okay, there, this is this is good. We got Exhum and feed together. Can we make it come to life? Maybe. Double tap feed is doing... Is getting the feed, but then I'm also taking damage. It's okay. It's worth it. Okay. It's worth it, right? Mm. Mm, debatable. Wait, we're forced to rest. We can get a Reaper. Okay, it's not the end of the world. Maybe I will actually prioritize getting a Reaper now. I'll probably just get a Reaper, just so I can heal up, and so I don't... There's the Reaper, how much is that gonna be? So the most of this can be is uh, 20, right? So since the most can be 20, this is doing 30 plus 27, uh, 57. He's a little too much block for me, so what we wanna do is 49 or close to it. Uh, damn, but now I have Headbutt, so actually this is fine. So we can do this. Oh, wait, what we could do is Perfect Strike. Ah, oh, fuck. Because I have Exhum I can do. Wait, we can also, instead of doing Reaper, we can get Feet again with Exhum. So we can headbutt Exhum and do Feet again. So maybe that's better. Ah, damn. This is tough. Because he has so much. This is the worst kind of Reaper, right? Because he only has 20 HP. So if I want to heal, okay, I, I can kill him. But if I want to go for the Feet, then I can. Don't get the heal, but then I. But we don't care, right? If we're not full life, we're not full life. It wasn't. I'd rather get the feed, because I don't think we're gonna die a time meter. Ah, uh, so that's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do exhum here. I'm gonna head with the exhum, get the feed. Stone Condor! Stone Condor! Oh my god, I swore... Okay, I thought it was gonna happen again. It's close. Man, some kind of keeping me on my toes. Double Corruption! Yes! That's exactly what the deck wants. Not even trolling. That's exactly what I want in a 48 card deck. Oh yes. Let's go.
I'm feeling lucky. Woo! Dark Embrace is very nice. I can get through my whole deck with that. It's like play fight. They're play fighting. I know. They oh, this is bad. But we can get Centennial Puzzle here. Ow. Just for some block. Or some. We guess his card draw, but. So this gives us card draw and gets rid of the pain. Mm, sure. But I wish I had feel We have Feel Pain out, so I guess it's block, right? And we got the corruption, but we don't have the energy. So what's important for us right now. Ah, uh, double limit break. Man, if we can get corruption played right now. This is double limit break. This is insane turn. Now we have Centennial Sentinel here, so if we can somehow headbutt the Sentinel. Now next turn we can get. There's more, more headbutts that we can get, and there's another corruption we can get, so it's, there's two more corruptions we can get. Wait a second, there's two more corruptions in the deck. Okay, so let's just do... Let's just block. That's barricade. Okay, damn. Barricade's are pretty important, but... We just want to get corruption out, and that's it. Uh, I'll see what we can draw here. I'm okay with just doing that, and then disarm again, sure. That's a lot of card draw options we just lost. The deck's getting kind of big and fat, but once we get corruption out, it should be fine. There it is. Now, we got to get the barricade back, so we're going to do a headbutt on the barricade, right? And then what's important is that we do uh, some limit breaks in again. So we're going to go do that. Then we could do barricade that turn with offering, but whatever. And now we just win. All right, guys, sit back and relax. The game's over. Now those are all great, fantastic cards. But I can only play so many cards a turn. I'm, I'm going to get feet on this guy. Alright, so let's figure this out here. Let's figure this out. It's playing solitaire right now, and I'm loving it. Actually, it's kind of hard to play everything because of the damn... Uh... I did a lot of damage there, so now he's gonna heal up, whatever. There's a chance we get a limit break, limit break shenanigans and actually just win. Oh shit. So what I actually wanna time to come into the stream, great Deckel Mayo. Hey, thank you man. So we're gonna proc him. We're gonna do We got the head, but we got the feet. I wanna do headbutt again, and then we're gonna go ahead and just Uh I don't wanna do anything here, but damn. Dark Embrace, no. No. Oh, I, that's actually fine. Because it only gets rid of the second headbutt, but not the feed. Let's see if we can get feed here. Uh, feed's not gonna happen. Feed is not gonna happen. Maybe it will. I don't know. Oh, who cares? I'm too impatient. Alright, so don't, don't... Ooh, okay. This one should be fine. We got Barricade early. That's great. Got Disarm. Got Scene Red. We got Shockwave for the weekend. We got Burning Pack for Sentinel. <laughs> and then Corruption! Of course! What a first turn. Holy shit. God, that's nuts. But I want Barricade. Fuck. Oh, we'll get barricaded back another time. It's all good. I can't complain about that turn. The energy is fantastic. We got Lantern plus all this energy. I know. Happy Flower as well. And we're rolling in it. Oh! <laughs> we got the headbutt, which we have multiple of for the barricade. And now it's game over. I'm glad they enjoyed the fight. They had a good time. I don't care about any of the damage I'm taking. Because I can just do this and then just win the game. Bam, bam, bam. Alright, guys, play some solitaire. You ready? Let's play some solitaire here. I want to get this out, but I also want to get rid of this pain. This pain's hurting a little bit. Ah, oh, whatever. So we'll try to get feet on this fight, but uh, we'll see what happens. We can headbutt and do the break again. 
We have more than one limit break in the deck, right? Well, at this point, it's like... At this point... We have a new animation for Clash. I like the Body Slam. I'm gonna kill him now so I can do Dark Embrace. I wasn't playing Dark Embrace, I don't care. It's the only first run of the day, too. What a, what a, what a, I'm getting spoiled with this run. I'm getting spoiled here. I wanna make sure that next turn I have Fiendfire for the boss. And then we're gonna go ahead and uh, start fighting the next phase. And if it happens, it happens. Oh god, okay, this is gonna be incredible. Oh, and there's the feed. Shit. Feed, that's a little premature. Can I put you on top? Because my hand is full. Oh, uh, we need uppercut, and then we need to do fiend fire, and then feed. Maybe, maybe I can finish off a feed. I didn't do the math, but I'm hoping it's correct. Okay, I want to get energy of some sort so that I can um. Energy of some sort so I can do twin strike into feed. Wait, pummel is. Okay, and then Twin Strike is... That, and then this... Oh my god, we actually got the feed. Okay. Act 4, let's go. So I didn't need Dead Branch, but Dead Branch, I guess... I don't know. It's pretty good. As it, as it turns out. Oh, Hi! Ooh, so it's not bad. Now, we already have ancient artifacts. So, what about this? Let's just break the game. I don't, I don't play League anymore. What's up, Aquatelli? How you doing, buddy? Oh, I, dude, your name is familiar. Um, I don't play League anymore, no, but I, um... I can still, I can still kick it in League. Oh, what's up, Zach? Oh, uh, since 20. Scout, if you do, uh, exclamation point, since 20. Since 20, you fight two bosses. So, this is Act 4, since 20. It's the hardest, this, the, the most challenging the game can be as... As it is. Swim Stone's not bad, but also we have Speed Pot Agent Artifacts. Isn't that kind of broken? If I just do Artifacts, Speed Pot, I, how can I lose? At the same time, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Once we get Corruption going against the Heart, we're sh we should be fine. Uh, the, game, the, the deck's kind of broken, so we should be fine. So, more so getting more block with Speed Pot Agent Artifacts, what's probably more important is that we can have card draw or we can find our powers. So, Master Strategy would be a good play, but of course. Uh, that's not a thing. We can remove pain. Pain is pain is actually kind of useful sometimes. Well, actually, against the heart, beat of the drum, beat of the heart, whatever. I don't need pain for that reason. And I, I guess pain is something that is um, making my draws a little bit worse. But before we consider about that, we can just do speed uh, speed stone. I, I'm thinking we're gonna get rid of skill pot and do speed pot, but the skill pot could be useful against the act four elite. I just hope that we get good turns. Um, here's hoping for the best. Just hoping for the best. It's all about RNG now, baby. But we do have preserve insect for this. <laughs> Just hoping for the best. Oh my god. Uh, luckily, I have two corruptions in the deck, so I was not that lucky, but it's still very lucky. Don't get it mistaken. Sorry, that was very exciting. Oh my god. Okay. Well, you know, sometimes you just win the lottery, and this is one of those times. Oh, yeah. Okay. GG, boys. Hope you guys enjoyed this. this is Act 4 Elite's gonna get destroyed. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, yes. Now, the number one thing we want now is like barricade, maybe, right? So, like, exhume into. I could have maybe preserved exhume there, but I'd say we do. I'd make them weaken, actually. Now, we could do Juggernaut. Bar Juggernaut seems pretty good. I like Fiendfire. To me, it looks kind of attractive. Now, I hope we get some energy gain. Like, uh... Okay, oh yes. I'm looking for some energy gain. Uh, imagine if we had calipers. Sentinel. So we can do dual wheel the final pain. That's very nice to have multiples in the deck. There's the barricade, but we can't play it, of course. Um, I'm looking for energy gain. Otherwise, all this block is... 
for nothing. But maybe it doesn't matter. But maybe the fact that I, you know, have my powers out and the guy on the left is dead, maybe it doesn't matter at this point. Alright guys, so we just headbutt. I want to bring feed back, alright? So if we bring feed back, well in fact, maybe better than feed is... Do we not have a funeral paint out? Alright, so let's get a funeral paint out. Oh, we do have one out. What am I talking about? Ah, okay. So we got to do a funeral paint again. So that's just disgusting. If I just want to be really disgusting, I can just do that. Like, just really disgusting. But let's find this feed. Where is Somewhere in the bottom of my deck? Okay. Oh, one sec. Alright, we'll just, we'll just end turn here. We're just going to let the feed come to me. And it's been, now I gotta get lucky against the heart. Now here's hoping that we get lucky. And the feet gets upgraded. So I'm gonna... Pass, because I want the feet to get upgraded. Although we could butter them up just a little bit. Just in case things don't go my way, right? And then... The feet didn't get upgraded, but it's okay. Alright, heart. Self-forming clay. Oh my god. Self-forming clay. And against the heart. Oh man. Bronze skills. We have everything we need. I'm gonna skip here. Okay. Centennial puzzle here. So if I, if I do Warcry, I get Centennial puzzle. Dark Embrace is very nice. We got rid of- we can get rid of the Clumsy right now. Oh no, Clumsy came back. Uh, that's right. You Shockwave now. Now it's important... That I, uh... I can't really keep- Warcraft doesn't allow me to keep anything. Like, this is a lot of card draw. Okay, I want to get some strength going. Now we're gonna start forming clear this, it's fine. Uh, it's important that I find the, um... Corruption. We have seen rare. We have dark embrace. Uh, we have two dark embrace, which that helps us go through my whole deck like crazy. We got corruption. GG. All right, boys. So the heart was once supposed to be hard, but then sometimes you get decks that don't give a damn about anything. And this is one of those times. Well, but before I do anything, though, I want to find the barricade. Now, if I do fiend fire now, it's a lot of damage, but. And we can do- so disarm is actually- I want to save it for after. Maybe I just don't do anything here. Oh, who am I kidding? Who am I kidding? Although, actually, you gotta keep in mind that the deck's gonna get kind of ugly. Like, I'm adding a lot of crap to my deck, so I gotta be a little careful. I don't wanna get rid of all my skills prematurely, either. So I'm gonna bring back Battle Trance because I want to make sure I can find. Oh, he's doing multi hit, so Flame Burst can be very good for multi hit next turn. I will just pass. Although I should maybe take away, take out the powers. So there's a barricade, and now we have Flame Bear. Uh, so we just win. We should win now with the barricade. It should make my life a lot easier because that's another final pain. And then now we should be fine. We got the final pain number two. And we got the. We got the first final pain. There we go. Now we got the barricade. And there's still a chance that we're going to run out of skills. Uh, you don't want to disarm until after the debuff part. But it's also important that we uh, do damage. Uh, we can disarm just to save a little bit of block, but saving it for after is better because he gains str strength. Equivalent to negative strength. So that's a demon form. Maybe I, I don't mind playing demon form, but what would I want to bring back on the next turn? What's what's gonna make this get out of control? Um, 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 um I can play demon form. Why not? Although we have limit break in the deck, we can play demon form. What's up, right hand? Hi, anybody. It's always time for a hard kill. We're getting we're getting all hard kills today. I'm just kidding. So now's a good time to get the dark the 
the disarm because now the disarm actually sticks. But at the same time, I'm just gonna get the weak in here, and then I mean we should be. I mean guys, he's he's almost, he's a half life. We got this. So now the charm sticks, right? But um, he has he has little artifacts. So we have to get rid of those artifacts, and then we also have limit break, of course. Now, I, I, of course, I think we're overthinking it because the, the fight's probably already over, like by far. Like it's not even close. Get the charm just for the next turn. Next turn, he's gonna do no damage. Actually, more strength. Uh, why not do rampage? Why not? This is actually disgusting. Okay, he's done. He's done for damage. So what we're gonna do is headbutt, exhume. Get the break again, and the break's gonna be very significant. He's like, do no damage here. Okay, 15 is nothing. We can actually feed this guy. Let's actually get feed on him. I actually want to feed him. I never, I never got feed in the heart. So let's do it. Now's the time. Give me your soul. Heart for dinner, baby. Science, the dead branch, broken, bonkers, disgusting. Two hour run. Oh my god, it's so long. But it felt so good. To be fair, I did walk the dogs, right? This is that crazy rub. We had dogs in the background, like, eating. Oh my god. 2085.